So guys, welcome to this video. Now the title of this video is how to quit your job in 30 days. So I'm actually sitting here with Johnny. Now, if you aren't following his shit, he's also based in London. Um, he's one of the few people who actually are. Uh, so obviously we've been connecting. So he actually quit his job in around 30 days and all of this was possible through digital marketing. So I thought I would bring him onto the channel just to kind of describe as to how he did it all. That's it, that's what we're gonna go into. Okay guys, so the first thing we are going to be looking at today is, um, I, I think a lot of people talk about this all the time, um, a lot of entrepreneurs online talk about it, and that is mindset. But what I'm getting onto is not like you've got to think towards you want to be successful and you've got to picture yourself being successful. Um, the, the sort of mindset that like we've been talking about today mm -hmm. is actually deciding what you're going to do and how you're going to do it and setting goals. Um, so for me, the way I did this, if you guys don't know my story, if, you, you know, if you're a new subscriber, or of course for watching on Iman's channel, then for me, I've always been into entrepreneurship, like ever since I was very young, but I had a turning point where I went on holiday for a couple of weeks and really, I guess, got to understand what I wanted, right? And I really wanted to set up an online business. And I've mm -hmm. tried this in the past, it, it, I, I wasn't too successful. Um, but I decided, right, when I get back, I'm starting a YouTube channel and I'm gonna take this course on how to do fulfillment by Amazon and I'm gonna just go like all in, mm -hmm. right, all into it. Um, that decision was the most important mindset that, or the mindset decision I made because everything came from that. Um, I know you have a little story which I think is quite yeah. decent so, as well. So um, obviously the title of this video is how to quit your job in 30 days. Um, now, if you are watching on Johnny's channel or uh, you're a new subscriber here, obviously my story is a bit different. I'm 17 years old and my story was that of dropping out of high school. Now, um, I actually had a, a video shoot with Bang & Olufsen um, in Amsterdam. Uh, my business mentor, he kind of set that up for me. Um, so I'm sitting on the plane back from Amsterdam and it, it had been the first time I traveled in like a year and a half simply because I couldn't afford to before. And number two is the first time I was actually paid to travel and then paid for the shoot. So it was just like a super proud moment for me. So I sat mm -hmm. on that plane, on that window seat. I looked out and I made the decision that, look, if I can figure out what my overhead is, including rent, because I wasn't paying rent at the time, um, including rent, and I can get four times that in either lump sum, deposit, or written contract, and I can do that in eight weeks, mm -hmm. that I would drop out of high school. And I did in two and a half. That's crazy. <laughs> I think because uh, my, my mindset was a little bit different because I was working the nine to five, I had been for a few years, uh, doing, uh, I was leaving the house about 7 a.m., getting back about 8 or 9 p.m. So when you think about your work life balance, well, there wasn't a work life balance. So I was heavily driven to get out of that. Mm -hmm. So I didn't need to make four times, mm -hmm. you know, four times the amount that I needed to, to, to live, right? Mm -hmm. I wanted to earn. The same or less, mm. like, because if I could earn less, I wasn't on a bad wage or anything, mm. Mm. I could live on less money. So mm. I, f I worked out what my minimum um, outgoings were or, you know, what I needed to survive. Mm. And as soon as I made that money, I was like, right, I'm going to quit my job. Mm -hmm. Because the time that you have is more important than the money you can make sometimes. And um, because I was doing 12, 13 hours out of the house, mm -hmm. that was 12, 13 hours a day I got back mm -hmm. for... And I could earn you know, the same amount of money. But of course, once you then quit your job mm -hmm. or you dedicate your time to full-time entrepreneurship or digital marketing, mm -hmm. you then have the entire day mm -hmm. to work on your own business, mm -hmm. which means that, hey, you're not, you're not earning the minimum amount anymore. You can earn way more. And, and that, that's a big key here. I see so many people going down the route of follow your dreams, which is correct. But you're following your dreams. And then, look, it's very hard to follow your dreams when you're fucking like working as a barista or working in an insurance company and you're doing like this shit for 10 hours and you come home and you're filled with cortisol your your willpower is completely drained like do you really think you're gonna study a course mm -hmm. or are you gonna fucking like order mick delivery and 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 watch like suits like you need to be practical here so mm -hmm. one thing that you did so well was you decided look like maybe this might take a month maybe this might take two months of hell of clawing myself out of this yep. once i claw myself out of this then i have infinite upside there's no there's no ceiling on the amount of energy i have the amount yep. of money i can make so that is a big big key exactly so i think the first thing you've got to do if you want to be able to quit your job with it you can do it within 30 days mm -hmm. now, i could have yeah. done it within 30 days 
Um, I, ch- I, I in hindsight I should have, mm-hmm. um, but I didn't know that at the time. Mm-hmm. That you need to set your goal of what you want. So for you, your goal was earn four times the amount. Of it, yeah, um, well, my it, it, predicted overhead predicted with rent. Predicted, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, mine was earn enough that I could. I don't have to go to work anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you just got to work hard to get it. So, to give you guys an example, I wanted the quick. You know, I wanted to, to get out of there quick. Um, I could have done it in six months, but I decided that I wanted to do it as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, I set a goal of September. So mm-hmm. this was the end of April, the first of May. Let's say I said by September I want to be. I want to quit my job, mm-hmm. and that was my goal that I set. Um, obviously it, it happened a lot quicker, but the only reason is because as soon as I was getting home from work, on my commute home, I was reading, studying, mm-hmm. uh, watching YouTube videos, reaching out to people, doing all, everything I could that was business related or self development related. And then when I got home, I was working, I was doing YouTube videos, mm-hmm. I was creating content until, you know, replying to people up until midnight, going to sleep for five hours and getting up for work again the next day and just rinse and repeat. And I did that for about six weeks mm-hmm. full on, mm-hmm. um, but that meant I could quit mm-hmm. my job within, I could, I could have quit it earlier, to be honest, mm-hmm. but I quit within two months, literally to the day of two months of starting my YouTube channel. And obviously the, the first two weeks is just like nothing, just, no, yeah. one, no mm-hmm. one watches it. Um, and that was, again, that was how many months ago? I don't know, three, 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 four, three, three, two, three months ago, yeah. or something like that. Um, so the last, three months let's say i don't know what it is uh i've had the entirety of time to then work on your own your own income Mm -hmm. that is more powerful than anything if you want to be able to quit your job within 30 days 60 days whatever you decide your timeline to be then the first thing you're going to need to do is decide to do it Mm -hmm. now that's not just saying like oh i'm going to go and make a digital marketing agency Mm -hmm. it's a case of i am going to do it starting Mm -hmm. today or starting tomorrow Mm -hmm. not Oh, I'm going to wait until I get a new computer mm-hmm. to start. Mm-hmm. I'm going to wait until I, you know, get my hair cut mm-hmm. to start. It's no, you start today, and you every single day you work on making it better than the last mm-hmm. day. Mm-hmm. And then you get to the point of practicality. Mm-hmm. Like, once again, like if you want to quit your job in 30 days, in fact, you could do it tomorrow, but you would also be homeless. Figure out what the practicality is. Like, so many people with me, for example, they're like, so you know what, like you know, it's so awesome. You just decided to take the the leap of faith and drop out of high school. And I'm like, no, it was a calculated as fuck move. Like I knew like to the dot what I needed, how long I could survive. What would my runoff be? Say I did drop out of school and you know, I thought I had it because I was still making a good income while I was in school. But like you, I was Mm -hmm. sleeping three, four hours a day. I couldn't go to certain meetings because I had classes. I, could, I, had, I had meetings abroad that I couldn't make because mm-hmm. I had class. So like, I figured out what the practical, uh, practicality was. Like following your dreams is this beautiful thing and creating this lifestyle that you want is this beautiful thing, but it has to be matched with practicality. Totally, I agree with that. So let's, I think we should go on to actually, okay, now you've, you've got your mindset right, we're all good with mm-hmm. that. You're going to take massive action because that's the only way to get massive results. Mm-hmm. Why then? What? What's what's, what's your what, vehicle? What's, what's going to get yeah. you from where you are now to where you want to be? So. Well, I think we're on the same wavelength here. It's social media. Yeah. Digital marketing, <laughs> digital marketing, social media. Now, obviously, that is such a huge umbrella. So, I mean, let, let's start off with what. Okay. So for me, the only thing I used is I use more now. <laughs> the only thing I started with is YouTube. Um, YouTube, I think, is the most powerful platform out there if you want to set your own personal brand. And um, if you're getting into digital marketing, I personally feel that you need to have, we well, don't need to, but you'll get results far quicker and for less money and a lot easier if you have a social media president, presence, if you have a YouTube, if you have an Instagram. Like my main source of income has been through YouTube. Um, yours is a little bit different. So yours is like, I'm interested when you tell your story, it's an interesting one. Um, but of course, my is for YouTube, get yourself on YouTube, document what you're doing. Get yourself on Instagram, document what you're doing, do it on Facebook. But from that, you're then going to be able to teach other people what you're doing. Mm-hmm. People are going to follow you because they're interested and they want to learn. Mm-hmm. You always want to want to look at people that are 30% in front of you. or mm-hmm. um, You want to spend 30% of your time with people that are ahead of you mm-hmm. so that you can learn from. Mm-hmm. You want 30% of the people on the same wavelength so you can network with them and mm-hmm. kind of help each other out. Mm-hmm. And then 30% of the people, you want to be helping them. Mm-hmm. And the best way to do that is with social media. Yeah. And of course, through that, you can then, you can monetize it mm-hmm. like crazy. So, so you, you went down the route of like, I mean, there's so many different options. Like yeah, exactly. there's so, so many different options. Like I see so many people in like scarcity mindset, like, t- like just look online. There's so many fucking ways to make money. Yes, so yeah. 
you obviously you understood your personality you had a lot of self-awareness and you understood like what's your ideal lifestyle and you chose two vehicles to kind of get you there yeah to start with exactly yeah so i wanted now th this is probably going to be similar for most people that if you're working a nine to five job or whatever you nine to eight or whatever job you work in I couldn't dedicate all my time to doing something like social media marketing. I wanted to because mm -hmm. I saw the benefit in it, in it, but I didn't. Literally, did not have the time to be able to do it. So instead, I I decided that I wanted to look at passive income sources, which was Amazon FBA, um, and then affiliate marketing, which I kind of stumbled into mm -hmm. through YouTube. Um, so that means that that worked with my lifestyle when I was working, but then when I quit my job. I still had the same income that was passive mm. that I could have been doing while I was at work, mm -hmm. but then you had, had all the time to be able to focus on personal branding, mm -hmm. which does take up more time, mm -hmm. social media marketing, which I then set up when I quit. Mm -hmm. But now, you know, like I can wake up in the, not even in the morning, in the afternoon, in the afternoon. and you know, don't have to be anywhere. Check, check, check your phone. Check you got phone. Stripe, PayPal, yeah. <laughs> commission, commission, commission. Yeah. Like, and it, it does happen like that. I'll have days where I'll have days where I wake up and I earn nothing. Uh -huh. But I'll have days when I wake up and there's four or five hundred dollars just uh -huh. kind of sitting there yeah. while I slept overnight. Yeah, which is the that's how I set up my business and how I set up my um, my, my I guess my ecosystem mm -hmm. of my of my company mm -hmm. and my companies. Mm -hmm. Um, that's not going to be for everyone, but that was my decision to do it that way. Mm -hmm. But now there's more time in the day, mm -hmm. then I can focus on things that do take up more time. Mm -hmm. um, and I know you were a little bit different. Yeah. So for example, I, the way I went about it is like, I, um, I mean, back when I was like three years ago, back when I was 14, I stumbled across, across influencer marketing and I used to like flip Instagram accounts. So like I've always seen like the money in social media and sort of merit to it. But, um, uh, with me, I had a social media and I, I built it up. I think I had like. 20k followers, uh, like uh, a, only like a K YouTube subscribers, um, but like people kind of like saw me as someone who understood social media. So mm -hmm. I actually started getting a lot of inbound leads, uh, and I got a lot of people actually asking like, dude, like could you could you do a bit of consulting or could you even manage my social media uh, companies? This is uh, could you manage my social media? Could you grow my social media? So I out of nowhere started getting like these inbound leads, and also like. The one good thing I, I've done, and especially now that like I'm monetizing my personal brand, like there there have people, been people who have been following me for two years, and they're like, "Email like a year and a half ago, like I asked a question, you gave me your phone number, and then you called me to answer my question for thirty minutes, right?" And all these relationships like come back. So I would just like I would give people free advice on yeah. social media and stuff like that, and like so I started kind of being known as this uh, this kind of like figure for social media, or at least in my small bubble. Uh, so yeah, I started getting these inbound leads for these. Uh, for these companies and then I kind of specialized in really high ticket clients here in London like just really really fucking cool companies so started uh, snowballing so what I found was my personal uh, brand helped with get inbound leads from my business and the more my business grew the more authority I had with my personal brand mm -hmm. so it's really cool like I've had people follow me for a year who have who have literally been like 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 your story isn't bullshit like I've actually watched you go from broke because I've been following yeah. you for a year like to where you're at now and like they've seen that so that's all because personal brand and you know the power of that led to inbound leads for my uh, uh, for my business and then the more inbound leads i have with my business more authority i have with my personal brand and then now i've started getting into coaching teaching other people how to do this um i have a couple digital products um and then now i'm getting into affiliate marketing and i'm looking at more passive sources of income um just because like obviously you want to diversify your income streams and i mean like if I'm honest, every single time I hear Johnny like tell me stories about how he wakes up and then he's just like looks down and it's just like commission. I'm just like, I want that. <laughs> <laughs> that that's the key. I th the thing that if you are watching and you're like most people saying, I don't want to put my, I don't want to record video. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put mm -hmm. myself out there. Like if you look back a few months, like mm -hmm. all that sort of stuff, every, everyone that does YouTube, everyone that goes live on Instagram, mm -hmm. everyone that has a personal brand, what you know they're not good at it straight away oh no no 100%. and you know it's something that you have to build up it's like anything the more practice you get the better you're going to get at mm -hmm. it the better you're going to get and more comfortable to talking to a camera mm -hmm. uh, which is one of the weird things when you start yeah, but now yeah. it's just like it's, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's cool it's just it's a person it's just mm -hmm. got a little fluffy kind of like microphone yeah. thing it's cool <laughs> it's because it is at the end of the day we know that the, yeah the, we know there's, that's people, there's people i mean and for example like that showed considering like two, yes. a month ago at this point i think we had a meetup yeah. And, we, and we announced it like four days before. It was like super, like super impromptu. Like just saw, for, for whatever reason, we decided to do a meetup. Yeah. 28 people showed up. Yeah. Like that was real to us. So anyways, I think like whether 
d no matter what vehicle you ch choose, like I think that it, the catalyst for all that was the personal brand and putting yourself out there. Um, and I think that's so important. That's the one thing I think anyone should take away. Mm -hmm. If you want to get results, mm -hmm. like quicker uh -huh. and easier uh -huh. than mm -hmm. any way else, uh -huh. the way is personal brands. Yeah, because that's something no one can ever take that away from you. Yeah, like people can take away your, you, you know, you can. People, can, a client could drop or an Amazon product could fail. But like, if you have that personal brand and that touch, you can always make the money back. Whether that be more inbound leads for your social media marketing agency, whether that be um, more people helping you out with your new next Amazon product, like whatever it may be, like I think that's been the main takeaway. Yeah. And I, that, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, as for how you quit your job in thirty days, you make the decision, you pick a vehicle, and then you got to start putting yourself out there. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Now, if you haven't checked out any of Johnny's links, I'm going to leave them in the description. So anything to do with sort of passive income, affiliate marketing, FBA, in all fairness, he's done social media marketing. He's done, he's built his personal brand. He's got fingers in many pies. He's got fingers in many fingers pies. In many pies. Um, if you haven't checked out his links, like I'm going to leave them in the description if you're watching on my channel. All right, see you guys. See you guys, bye.